Okay, ladies, we're going to go ahead and get started with session number four. We're going to start by uh, doing an upper body exercise. So you want to uh, stand up nice and tall. You want your shoulders going down your back. And we're going to be doing a front raise into a pull back and then into a W. So I'll just demonstrate a couple of these. So it's straight arms up, pulling back, elbows out to the side. You'll feel a pinch in between your shoulder blades. And then you simply raise your hands up, forming a W, I guess, or close there about um, with your arms. And then you simply go back the same way that you came up. So it's up, pull, W down, out, down. So I'll come a little bit closer so that you can see. So up, pull, W, down, out, down. A couple more. So you should feel this in your back, your shoulders, all the way through your arms. And again, nice tight squeeze between those shoulder blades as you pull back into that W. Okay, so that's the first exercise for session number four. The next one is going to be a squat into, into a side leg raise. So you're going to have your feet a little bit more than sort of like shoulder distance apart. You're going to do a squat. We've done squats before. As you come up, you raise your leg to the side, and you squat and raise your leg to the side. Now I'm going to move the chair so that you can see it better. However, you can obviously use the chair if you're more comfortable for balance, but you can do it without. So squat, come up, side leg raise. Squat, come up, other side. Squat and leg raise. Squat and side leg raise. Okay, so that is exercise number two. So now we're going to do our next exercise, which is going to work your legs and your back. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the weight in your left hand, you're going to stand on your right leg, and you're going to kick this leg back. And you've obviously got your chair for balance here. So once you're in the position, nice straight legs, trying to get that leg as high as you can. Obviously, if you're down here, that's okay too, but obviously the higher you go, the better. And then I basically want the weight is gonna just be hanging down, and then you're gonna pull the weight up and down. So there's no movement with your leg. Your leg is just staying as high as possible, but you're gonna feel it, definitely feel it, all the way through your leg into that right glute or bum muscle, and even into your core a little bit as well for balance. So again, you're then just gonna pull that arm up and down. And you'll do the same thing on the other side, so you'll stand on your left leg, you'll have your weight in your right hand, and you'll pull up and down. Okay? Okay, so that's really gonna kick into your legs as well as into your back and your arms. Okay, so now we're going to do another arm exercise. It's going to be, I should get on my knees so that you can see it properly. It's going to be a bicep curl into a shoulder press. So a bicep curl, push into a shoulder press. So I'll just turn around so you can see. Bicep curl, shoulder press. Remember to keep your shoulders down, so don't punch them up. Keep your shoulders down, bicep curl, shoulder press. Couple more. Okay, it's so nice and easy. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, uh, I'm starting to build some muscles, so these should be getting easier. Okay, so the next one is going to work on your inner thighs. Again, you'll want to use the chair for balance. What you're going to want to do is kick up. So your arm out, and you're going to the side. 
kind of strange. Your hand is kind of touching the inside of your leg. Come a little bit close as you can see. You really will start to feel this in that leg. So I'll just do a couple more so you can see. You can do it without a chair. It's better because you can stand up nice and tall. If you get really clever, you can actually alternate them. But I want to give you the option of holding on and getting some support. So I'll be doing them both sides one after the other, so this side would be, not that you can really see that well. But if you get, you know, sort of confident enough, you can obviously go like this. Okay, so that gets into those inner thighs. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit for your triceps. Okay, let's do these one way at a time. So you'll lunge forward with your right leg. So you're in kind of a, a slight lunging position. And then you'll lean over that leg. And then you're going to bring this arm up. You can use the chair again for the support. And you're just going to kick back. So basically it's a tricep extension, but you're in a bit of a lunge. Obviously the deeper you get into that lunge, the more you're going to be working your legs as well as your arms. So get into the deepest lunge that is comfortable for you and then just extend that tricep. You want to really hug the elbow into your waist, and you want to extend back, and you'll feel it right in that tricep. So really think about kicking on that tricep. So if you only have a light weight, you're not gonna feel it as much, so really think about activating the muscles. That goes along with any exercise when you're only using a light weight, which is fine. Just really think about activating the muscle groups. So I'll just show you the other side. So your left leg comes forward, weight in the right hand, leaning over, so hinging over, nice straight back. And then when you've got good balance, you'll then do that tricep extension like this. Okay? So we're doing a lot of exercises now that include a variety of things together, which is uh, much better because you're working more muscle groups in one, one exercise, so you're getting more out of each movement. Okay, we're going to quickly uh, demonstrate the ab work for this, uh, this session. So the first one, you're going to be all the way straight, and then you're going to come up, alternating legs, so straight leg up and down. Down, up, and down. Hopefully that makes sense. So it's called the jackknife. And last but not least, we're going to do a simple side crunch. So you're going to lay on your side, knees up, but you're going to try and get your shoulders down. So you're kind of twisting. So if you want to, you can start this way and then twist your legs over. And you're going to just do a small crunch upwards. So you're really getting into those side muscles. Okay, if this is too hard, a modification is to put one leg over the other and just come up to the side. So basically opposite elbow to opposite knee. Because sometimes this position can be a little bit tricky for people. So up to you, whichever is most comfortable, but you'll get into those obliques. Okay, that's the... Uh, explanation and I will now be back with the, uh, the actual program itself. Okay, bye!